In this video, we are going to show how to virtualize a Microsoft Windows from scratch using an ISO file. The reason for showing this use case is because sometimes it's important to have the control and customize a system since the beginning. It can happen that there is no cloud image available and you have to build your own. It also can be that all that you get to start creating virtual machines is an ISO file. Not all the software parts are made to fit in a container. Some legacy code may be kept running in a virtual machine. It also may happen that there is no source code available and the only chance to keep a software running is in a virtual machine. So minimum knowledge and a previous setup is required. We will need a Kubernetes environment already running. Ideally, it will be a parameter installation with kubeert and then containerize that imported install. We will have to download the Windows installation file from the Microsoft web page and upload it to our system volume. We will upload the Microsoft Windows ISO file using the containerized data importer. We will prepare a persistent volume claim that will be in charge of storing the new virtual machine. We will have to pull a container image with the virtual drivers and also connect it to the virtual machine. We will load the virtual machine definition into Kubernetes. We will also start the virtual machine to proceed with the visual installation and we will connect to the virtual machine through BNC to continue with the step by step to get the new system up and running. The following link will bring you to the Microsoft Evaluation Center. The file format to choose is ISO. You may fill the form to enable the download button. The ISO file is for 3 gigs. Now that we have the file in our host, it has to be uploaded to a persistent volume. The volume doesn't exist, the build cattle is taking care of creating it. The build cattle needs the parameter image of load. And also the image path of the ISO file. It also needs the name of the PVC, the access mode that in our case is really only many. The PVC size is 5 gigs. The insecure flag permits insecure connections when using HTTPS. The time to wait for the upload pool to start has been increased to 240 seconds. The upload proxy is the IP address of the CDI upload proxy service. You can find out what is your upload proxy IP address getting the services inside the CDI namespace. There is the IP address and the port. The build cutter command can be executed. The volume is create and the ISO file is being uploaded. In our case, the ISO file will take like one minute to be uploaded. We will show the video to not let you wait. The Virtio drivers need to be available during the installation for the Windows installer to recognize the hard drive. To do so, we are going to pull the Virtio container disk and later it will be attached to the virtual machine. Now it's time to create the persistent volume claim where the virtual machine is going to be stored. In this example, the name is Windows HD. The access mode is read write once. The storage is 20 gigs. And the storage class is host path. You may save the storage and the storage class depending on your needs. Let's create the volume and continue with the definition of the virtual machine. In the virtual machine definition, in the YAML file, we can see the kind is virtual machine, the name Win2K12 ISO. It will also have for virtual CPU cores and the three devices that we need. The first one is the city with the ISO. 
and it needs to include the boat order flag set to 1. This volume is the one created when uploading the ISO file with the bird cattle command. The second disk device is the hard drive where to store the virtual machine. The volume is the one created by us in the preview section. And the last one is the container with the build IO drivers. This definition also includes the memory request for the virtual machine, 12 gigs. Let's create the virtual machine. Now you can check the virtual machine like any other Kubernetes object. Once the virtual machine has been created, it can be started with the build cuttle command. Getting the virtual machine object now shows the virtual machine running column as true. If you request the virtual machine instance, you will find it running and with an IP address assigned. With the virtual machine running, we can connect to it using BNC. Let's use bcuttle command to do so. And we can proceed with the installation. We are going to install Microsoft Windows with a graphical user interface. We have to accept the license terms and choose to run a custom install. So far, there are no hard drives. Microsoft Windows by default won't recognize our volume as a storage. We have to look for our build IO drivers in the fake CD and browse the folder tree looking for the VIO store folder, choosing the 2K12R2 folder and the AMD64. Now the drive appears, remove the partitions if necessary, and you can keep going with the rest of the installation. Your Windows system is up and running. Congratulations. Thank you.